We are here at Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show at the Beneteau booth, and we are hanging out on the Grand Trawler 62. This thing is awesome. I cannot wait to give you guys the walkthrough here of this thing. Looking at the uh, aft cockpit right now there, and currently standing on this uh, massive high-low swim platform. So that obviously raises up and down out of the water, the whole swim platform there. So that's really cool. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a few things here immediately coming in. Shower head hanging out right there. Coming up here, you got some cleats, winches, all that fun stuff going on there. As we step in here, it is wet right now, so some stuff's put away. Got a sofa there. Um, I believe there's more, they just have it put away because of the rain right now. Over here is actually a rear uh, joystick control station, so if you're docking aft to great access. And then, then in there is up, down, on, off switch. That should be the high-low platform hanging out in there. On these sides here, they do have these uh, wind brakes you can actually open up and put out. Um, or you can just leave it open like that. Um, we'll head up there momentarily. Uh, I think we're going to head up to the flybridge first. Got some nice stairs here, real proper stairs with little lighting the whole way up. So that's real nice. Great grab rails. And yes, we are the only ones up here right now. Despite the fact that it just rained, this is still a busy boat. Immediately we come up, we're greeted by this bar area here. So that is fantastic. It's got a proper Kenyan grill hanging out there. Little sink action there under the counter so you can just push stuff right in, no problem. I always love that. Can't wish I, that my house had that. Um, down here is a pull out refrigerator. And hanging out underneath it here is an ice maker. And on this side, waste bin and some miscellaneous storage there. Uh, everything is covered up because like I said, we just had a big rainstorm blow through. Got a crane on the back, space to put a tender or jet ski to hang out there. So that's pretty cool. If you don't have it down on the high low platform. Seating for probably eight right there. An additional three or four up there. And then you got two seats at the helm up there. So easily fit i don't even what does that add up to 14 13 15 something like that folks very comfortably so coming up to the helm very nicely apportioned not one not two but three raymarine grass glass displays from up here so that's really cool to see all that of course still get your uh, joystick throttle control for docking trim tabs your throttles everything's hanging out up there and uh these are uh twin seats at the helm as i mentioned they do have the flip up bolsters those are covered up right now and um, look, there's a sun pad that also snaps down there, as you can see. Not there right now. Thank you, rain, mother nature. And uh, that is also closed off right now, but that is actually a uh, access down right next to the helm into the uh, main first floor of the cabin. So that's actually really cool. They add that, added that right there. Um, someone's cranking up some music near me, so hopefully you can still hear me. Hard top with a retractable sunroof in the middle. Would not want to retract that right now with how wet it is, but uh, if it's not beaming down sun, it'd be cool to retract that, let the uh, natural breeze and light come in without absolutely frying you. So we're just gonna head on back here. And I should mention if it, that uh, this is a fold-out table. So you can do one of these numbers. You're gonna have it half, you're gonna have it two-thirds, you're gonna have it all the way open. I guess it'd be rather three-quarters, um, but yeah. So alternatively, you get a grab rail cup holder there if you don't opt to have the uh, table folded out at any given time. So we're gonna head on down and uh, we'll see if the uh, main saloon area is cleared out. And if it is, we'll head on there. If not, we'll head up onto the bow, depending what is happening right now. Um, so let's see. Oh yes, it looks like we got a clear moment. So stepping in here, this stylish with this light, uh, oak looking woodwork looks fantastic um ties in really well with the uh, light neutral colors of the upholstery all the way around here i think it looks great i think it looks neutral i think it's going to age excellently just a little bit of dark accent there and this led lighting around the top that's recessed up there looks fantastic carries around here as well so that is that is just too cool um, looking over here Hanging out there, cooling system for your beverages. Um, on top of it there is just a pull-out drawer. Hanging there, you got a fusion head unit, some switches and whatnot. And then that television does go down into there and stows itself away. 
just again more storage that was part of the uh, display that was out on the back table actually before the rain came and if we just uh, work our way along here they actually have another pull out refrigerator hiding there so that's cool really using that space but i could just i could spend five minutes going through all the storage here as we walk in um, we're going to turn around here though real quick just take another look back at this uh, lounge area in the saloon, I think it's a great area. You could easily comfortably fit six people around there. You could probably squeeze in eight or nine. And I thought this was so cool how they set this up. This kitchen right there, your galley, I'm calling it a kitchen. It just looks so naturally as a kitchen, rather a galley on a boat. So I think they did an amazing job. We'll step up in their moment. But it's tied into the uh, saloon area here without being overwhelming and just wide open or it's also not secluded so that's cool but if you want to you can close off the door there and add some seclusion uh, this table here it's actually really cool i'm not going to attempt it by myself with one hand but this thing does slide in and out and you can set up chairs on this side of it and i believe those stow away underneath of the uh sofa there on that side so yeah that table slides in or out depending on how you want your setup to be in your space so that's a really cool feature that they have and just uh over here on this side some uh, cutlery, glassware, uh, plates, so all that good stuff resides in that little uh, cabinet there. And then we're going to head into the galley real quick. But like I said, if you want to, you can close it off, section it off, make it feel more secluded. And this is a really nice galley for this size boat. I love the finish on the counter here. The LED accents underneath lighting. And then I like this... Uh, it's not glossy white, I'd call it like a semi-gloss, almost a matte, if you will. So plenty of cabinets and storage to go around. So that's cool. I just, again, I love the neutral color palette used on this thing, and I think it's a great fit. So there it is, looking out over into the uh, saloon area. Like I said, you're connected, not secluded, not out in the open. I think it's a great balance. They do have a dishwasher hanging out behind there, so that's a cool uh Gotta love when you have a dishwasher on a boat. Uh, space there. And I'm gonna assume there's just a lot more space. I'm not gonna play 20 drawers and go through all the drawers on this thing. But behind me, as my camera freaks out, I apologize for that. Um, there is the oven and the cooktop. So more storage hiding out up there. And that's cool, I can't say I've ever, I haven't seen that too often. There is a, a little fan and a uh, light set up there. So if we do that, the light would come on. So that's too cool, just like at home. And then there'd be a fan that would come on on that side. Behind here is a full-size fridge, believe it or not. Like proper, that's like a dorm style, apartment size fridge, if you will. So tons of space in there. Latch that up and below it, of course, is your freezer. So we will close that up. And we are going to head on up to the helm now. And uh, briefly, we're going to look at those stairs I mentioned. That up there leads up to the flybridge. That's that glass panel that I said uh, connects on down to the side behind the helm. Cool little seating if you want to hang out while you're underway. You can uh, lounge up there. You can hop up in the uh, second captain's chair, the first mate chair, if you will. And we got the captain's chair here. Real, real uh, proper stuff, if you will. And, uh, geez, there, that is tight. That is, that is tight stuff to do with one left hand. But yeah, flip up, flip down, bolster. I'm gonna flip it back up there. I'm gonna come step up here in the helm. Uh, much like up on top, the same one, two, three Raymarine glass screens. Radar on that screen, camera on this screen. The camera's currently up on that screen. I'm not gonna start touching buttons and break something, but uh, yeah. All sorts of fun stuff there, heading, engine monitor, all that good stuff. Again, joystick for docking, trim tab, trim setup, yep. Throttles, the whole nine. This nice big, like, tugboat style steering wheel, if you will. That's actually really cool. Um, but yeah, hanging out down here, just uh, covers for all the uh, equipment on the, uh, at the helm there. We're gonna come back around here and and this guy there, just more storage, of course. Got to use it up. And why not? There's another one. More storage. Um, I think I'm going to head on down. I believe nobody's down there. We'll take advantage of that real quick. 
So these stairs lead on down into here. And there are three staterooms down this way. Immediately forward, there are two single berths in there. You can put a filler in between, make it a, uh, about a queen size, maybe even king size bed hanging out in there. So plenty of room to do that. Um, go here, ensuite to the head. Um, let's see if the light switch, there we go. Lights are on now. And then access out that way goes into uh, the little hallway there. So this, could, this doubles as an ensuite and a day head here off of the uh, guest room. Sinks hanging out there. Um, yeah, let's see. There's this. There's your medicine cabinet space. And really tall ceiling here. Space with a porthole lets some natural light in, so that's nice. And there's your shower on both of this size. Plenty of headroom in there. I know I'd fit no problem at six foot one. There's probably six, 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 seven <laughs> worth of headroom in there. So plenty of space. So that's nice. And uh, we'll look back into the uh, cabin again. Right, and there is a closet, hanging locker, whichever you choose to call it. It actually is deeper than it looks down in there. So that gives you plenty of space to hang stuff. I like the LED lighting they did there for both an accent and to be functional. So that's, that's pretty cool. So we're going to swing on out here through this, uh, the day head access door. They got nice little accent lighting going up the stairs. I'm always a fan of that. And we're going to head forward into the VIP cabin. Immediately you will notice it is canted there at the side. So that really changed the feel of the room. They got this really cool LED accent lighting down there. The same neutral color palette carries on through here. I think it looks absolutely stunning. <laughs> um, I love the styling on these boats. I think Beneteau does a great job. Hiding in there is copious amounts of uh, hanging storage. So that's a nice closet space there. And it does have a light when you open up that other door. Down here is just more storage. And that's, there's a lot of it in here. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a look at your bed. I think that's really cool how the water is right out there behind you. So that's really neat. They have the windows set up there. If we turn around this way, there's the television that folds out so uh, it can be uh, perpendicular to the angle that you would view it when you're laying down in the bed. Uh, we're going to head on into the head here, no pun intended. So very nice sink here below the counter again, marble look. Uh, yeah, marble look, I guess, if you will there. And then this guy should be there. That opens up storage for the medicine cabinet outlet switch hanging out in there. And you do have a large rectangular porthole there that you can open up. So that's, that's pretty neat. And if we turn around here, very nice full-size shower hanging out in there. Again, tons of headroom and whatnot there. So I'm, I'm six foot and change, so I would fit in there very comfortably. And of course, separate, separate toilet. So I'm curious what is hanging out behind that. I'm gonna guess plumbing access. Sure enough, plumbing access there. Just some hot, cold water, and I believe the black water line off of the toilet. So we're gonna take a look just real quick there. Now, another look at that uh, forward VIP cabin, looking great. And this bed does open up on some struts. There we go. So, absolutely cavernous amount of storage under there. You could fit whatever you wanted honestly whatever you need to put under there cushions covers anything extra you want tons of room to do it under there so we'll just close that back up my camera is going to freak out for a moment my apologies we're going to get this back on the road here and we're going to head on down into the master cabin all right immediately coming in here more of that gorgeous led accent lighting all around that i'm a fan of the neutral color palette the big off-white wall looks great really opens it up and it's awesome stepping in here large windows on that side with those large rectangular portholes same story on that side so that's absolutely fantastic coming in here storage same can be said for the other side and then just down here more storage and climate control outlets, all that jazz hanging out there. And we're gonna head over to this side because it's a little bit different. I'm gonna guess some standard storage there, sure enough. And on this one, hanging 
closet space there. But that cool uh, accent lighting on that side, the LED inside. Uh, let's see, hiding under here, just some storage and a mirror. Up here, I'm gonna guess more storage. But uh, flip back around here, head into the head. We do have a large TV on that side, so that's really nice. Um, I'm sure that bed does lift up too. I'm not gonna lift that bed up. They got this nice uh, little decoration going on. I don't wanna disturb that. So we're gonna head on into this uh, the master head here. And this is what we got going on in here. It's really cool. I'll show you this guys real quick. Rainfall shower, that's fantastic. I, I don't even have one of those in my house and this boat has it on it. Gotta love it. Um, really, really fancy look there. Nice little touch. Very nice vanity, quite large, um, not just shoved into a corner. You got a good, probably four and a half, four feet across there, so that's pretty nice. Again, same story with the medicine cabinet above there. Plenty of storage space in there. Um, toilet is, of course, residing all the way, all the way over there. <laughs> um, it's a toilet. But yeah, uh, stepping into the shower real quick, just because I want to. A nice little seat I can sit on. Got storage there for your uh, toiletries and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. We'll close that back up and we will find our way out. I think we're gonna head up to the bow. We've not been there yet. We will finish this show up there. And I'm, gonna, I'm a little curious what we're hiding here. This caught my eye. Access to something, I'm sure. Ah, pumps, tanks, hoses, plumbing, electrical. Just uh, great access all around there. Very cool. We're gonna swing up this staircase here. And this piqued my interest. I'm gonna guess an electrical panel. Ah, uh, yes. Switches and breakers and all sorts of fun fuses and all that hanging out behind there. So we are actually gonna use this uh, little side door here. Get that open. So that's really cool. Huge side door off of there. And uh, there is one off of the uh, galley as well. There we go, close that. It does have intermediate stops, so you could, uh, it kind of stopped a few inches short, so if you want to leave that open, get some air through there, that is an option. Got a couple steps up here with some LED lighting to get up on the bow. Stepping up into the bow area, it's still covered up due to the rain, but you got a nice sun pad, uh, sunshade there for the sun pad, and the sun pad resides under that cover. On this side, I am not gonna be able to do this with the camera, but that is a big uh, storage area. I presume there's stuff like uh, ropes and fenders that hide out in there. And then coming around here, got these two lockers on the ground. I'm gonna assume they hold stuff related to the windlass on the front there. So I'm gonna open up one of these. And that looks like you got a hose down in there you could climb down. Uh, you got the remote control for the winch on that side. We'll close that up. We're gonna come over here, open that up. There's a fender and then there is your uh, chain winch and road and everything going on down in there. So that's cool. It's a beautiful shot there of uh, some stuff going on here at the boat show. Sun is starting to set. It is a gorgeous view, but uh, we're gonna head up actually onto the fly bridge or maybe the rear cockpit. We'll just go to the rear cockpit to finish this up. And uh, like I mentioned, there is your galley in there, this door. Gives you access just in and out like that through both sides. And there's that little intermediate stop. There's the full stop. So we're going to walk our way right back here. And on this side, there is also one of those partitions. I'm not going to screw around with that with one hand, but yeah, that would release. And then that can be a wind block on that side. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm going to hop on down into there actually, and then we'll finish this off. So coming back around on the swim platform, this does have the stairs that come uh, form once it drops down in. It goes at an angle, the stairs do that. And that is that. Down in here, that is our crew quarters. It's kind of blocked off right now, so I can get too personal down in there. But that is what's going on down in there. So unfortunately, can't get down in there, but we're gonna take a seat right up here and uh, finish this off. All right, that was the Beneteau Grand Trawler 62 here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Very versatile, 
very spacious boat all around. Lots you can do with it. Um, and I, I think it's awesome. I just love everything about it. If you got any questions about it, I'll have a link down in the description to reach out to the folks at Beneteau. They'd be happy to share more with you. So go ahead, get a hold of them if you're interested in learning more about this boat. That's all I got. I got places to be, people to see. I really appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Thanks for watching.